This episode on the road takes us to Nashville, Tennessee, and to Harding Academy. This K-8 school has a rich history of providing innovative learning environments that promote the critical skills that prepare students for the future workplace. The MacBook has cemented its place as a key tool for Harding Academy in the classroom, and Mosul's many Mac-focused features have allowed the school to empower students and teachers to execute traditional IT workflows. From my perspective, technology, we want it to be transparent, and that means that it's not an impediment. It does what the teachers and students want it to do without a lot of intervention, without a lot of troubleshooting. And Mosul gives me the tools and also the teachers and students the tools to make that happen. There are three ways that Mosul helps me achieve this transparency. One is the setup, the second is the self-service, and finally the control over the devices. And so with setup, Mosul allows us to pre-configure things like a local account, printers, allowing users to add or remove printers, allowing certain programs to run that are usually banned because of a kernel extension. That's a new security item that's put into the Mac OS, and this allows us to quickly get around these impediments to setting up our systems. We love the self-service aspect of Mosul. It allows our teachers and students to do things that I previously had to get requested to do, and it saves time, but it also relieves frustration with the technology because it empowers the end user to do things like connect to a local shared drive by just clicking on my command. Another example is by default, whenever you take a screenshot, just dumps the screenshots onto your desktop. Well, now we can program a self-service command that allows end users to click on that. It creates a screenshot folder on the desktop, and then all the screenshots go into that folder. We favor the Mac OS over using a Chromebook because of applications like iMovie. There are also applications like AirServer that allow teachers to airplay to their laptops. And sometimes that program needs to be restarted, but it's difficult to do that unless you go to the command line. Well, Mosul comes to the rescue because we can issue commands through the self-service portal. So now teachers can just click relaunch AirServer and voila, the AirServer is working again quickly and easily. Finally, we get down to the issue of control. And one of the great features that we love is the ability to limit Chrome extensions. One Chrome extension that we had to fight with before we had Mosul was VPNs. We had students installing those and bypassing our web filter. Well, now we can not only limit what Chrome extensions the students can have, but we can say we want them to have certain extensions that are helpful. With the end of monolithic imaging, you have to have an MDM. Mosul hits the sweet spot of a robust, effective, but cost-effective solution. To stay current with more innovative schools like Harding Academy and the best practices for managing Apple devices in schools, click the subscribe button to join our channel now.